How does erosion in arid regions occur? Erosion is a natural process that occurs in all regions of the earth, including arid regions. However, the characteristics and mechanisms of erosion in arid regions differ from those in humid regions due to the unique climate and geology of arid regions. Arid regions are characterized by low precipitation, high temperatures, and intense solar radiation, which can lead to the formation of distinct landscapes like deserts, badlands, and canyons. These landscapes are often composed of sedimentary rocks, which are more susceptible to erosion than other types of rocks due to their composition and structure. One of the primary mechanisms of erosion in arid regions is wind erosion. Wind can move and transport loose sediment particles, leading to the formation of features like sand dunes, yardongs, and desert pavements. Wind can also erode rocks through processes like abrasion, where particles carried by the wind collide with and wear down rock surfaces over time. Another mechanism of erosion in arid regions is water erosion, which occurs during rare rainfall events. When rainfall does occur, it can lead to flash floods, which can carry large amounts of sediment and debris downstream and cause significant erosion of river channels and canyon walls. Water erosion can also occur through the gradual dissolution of rock surfaces by groundwater, which can lead to the formation of features like sinkholes and cave systems. Human activities like overgrazing, agriculture, and urbanization can also exacerbate erosion in arid regions by altering the natural vegetation cover and increasing the vulnerability of soils to erosion. Desertification, the process of land degradation that leads to the transformation of arid regions into deserts, is another form of erosion that can be caused by human activities and climate change. In summary, erosion in arid regions occurs through a combination of wind erosion, water erosion, and human activities. Understanding the mechanisms and impacts of erosion in these regions is important for managing natural resources, conserving biodiversity, and mitigating the effects of climate change. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.